Hi, welcome everybody and welcome to postcard number 25. As you can see, there's one person not with us at the moment, but I think she'll be on the postcard later on. Now, we're going to kick off this postcard with a little photograph of something that somebody sent in. Now, this was something that Elizabeth made. Now, this is really nice. Have a look at this. Hmm, well how about that? Isn't that wonderful? That egg that Elizabeth made. Now it would be really interesting to know how she made that, but Elizabeth, keep on sending in photographs of the things you made. That was really nice. Now, just so happens we've had, I've got another photograph that somebody sent in. It is another version of the Orangoffee pie. Somebody else has been making the Orangoffee pie. Now come on you out there, get making the Orangoffee pie and send in your pictures. But here's one made by Trish. Well, Trish, that looked absolutely fabulous. We like a nice, lovely, yummy pie. And that was certainly a creamy pie. Couldn't help notice that you missed the chocolate. That was a controversial move, but looks really yummy. I would have went with the chocolate, but I particularly like chocolate. But thanks for sending that in, Trish. That was very good of you. Uh, now, we're going to show something today where Jane uses some flowers that she's been picking recently when we've been out and about and she uses the flowers to make something nice for just anybody for somebody you want to send that little special thing to Jane's going to show you how to use some pressed dried flowers so now over to you Jane Who oh, are looking for some nice flowers to press on a good day can take them home in anything like a baseball cap for instance. Here is a bunch of flowers that I've taken home ready to press. Look at the lovely colours, aren't they beautiful? What you've got to do is separate all the flowers out and put them on top of the kitchen roll. Give them a bit of space between. Just pick any flowers that you like. Now you've got to put another piece on top. So get a piece of kitchen roll and put it on top and place them in books and weight the books down. And you have to leave them for about two to four weeks. Here I have some bright coloured cards. All in various different shades of yellow and I'm finding flowers that will stand out well against the yellow background. Coloured cards are quite good for making all the different colours stand out really well with the flowers. So I've set out how I want to arrange the flowers so now all I've got to do is stick them down got some glue in a tray, lift them up and just pop a bit on the underside of the flowers. These are bluebells. When you go out for the flowers you're better to go when it's quite dry, you don't want a lot of dew on the flowers. And remember to dry them, put them between layers of kitchen roll or tissue paper. And if you put them in books and then if the moisture comes off they'll go into the kitchen roll. leave them for about two weeks and they should be ready to work with. I'm painting the 
glue on with a paintbrush. But after you finish, you've got to make sure that the paintbrush is washed out very well to get rid of the glue, or you'll not be able to do any painting. some examples of the cards that I've made. Look at the nice bright coloured cards that I've chosen. Don't the flowers stand out? And they make some lovely gifts for your friends. You can send them a nice card during the lockdown. Remember if you're hunting for flowers make sure you don't go into your neighbour's garden. Just look for wild flowers when you're out for a walk. Well, that was lovely, Jane. And if you're out and about, pick some flowers. But remember, as Jane said on there, pick the wild flowers. Don't pick them out your neighbour's garden. Well, now, I've got a little message for the people from the centre that used to visit the Mercat Centre. Those of you who went to the Mercat Centre, a eh, will remember Natalie. Now, we know that Natalie was expecting uh, a baby. And I'm pleased to announce that Natalie's had her baby. And here we've got a photo of Natalie with her new little baby. Well, that was really nice to see Natalie, and believe me, the baby was there in that pram. So, congratulations to Natalie, and welcome into this world, Denny. That's a lovely piece of news for us. Now, we'd like to welcome our guest singer today, our guest singer, who's done a few songs for us, and now she's back again. So, thanks Trish, take it away.
Well, as you can see, we've got Jane back again and Trish, thank you very much. That was fantastic. We'd love to have you back again singing really soon. Yeah, Trish's a lovely singer. And I'm just back because I'm working with someone out in the community, so it was nice to see them too. So it's a weekend now, Billy. It is. So mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this postcard. And I hope to see you next week. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>